Muy buenas tardes, espero que estéis todos muy pero que muy bien, bienvenidos un día más a Red Dead Redemption, bienvenidos a mi canal. Relax, relax, relax. Take it easy. ¿En serio puedo ir con los dos caballos? ¿Que el otro me siga? Qué, gu Qué guapo, ¿no? S.A. San Denis, no, pero seguramente que está por ahí. Aquí hay un animal legendario, dicen. Take you back or uh, me. Uh, <laughs> come on, let me get you home. Oh, butcher's crit. Vale. A ver, esto es un castor legendario, ¿no? Some distress. Hey, 
Yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, the mule, sweet the mule, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, no, come on, get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for lim- Please, it, please, sir. Ah. Uh, that you is not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. A ver un segundo si podemos resolver cosas de camino, que es esto. Oficina de correos. Vale. Oh, you should see yourself. Come on, Bertram, please! No! Bertram, say no! Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Friends for life. We Everything okay? Imagine saving people, Good taking them to your breast, and metaphorically, I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh, no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little <coughs> tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom on the back. <coughs> oh, fuck it, he... <coughs> no, Bertram! 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 Woof, woof! Bertram! Put the nice man! Do something, you'll eat him! Um, uh, e e easy there. Uh, easy there! Sorry! Bertram! Easy, big guy. Uh. <gasps> Ouchie! That don't hurt! <laughs> Not nice! Bertram, get a whoopsie! Uh. Hell, you're so stupid, uh, so uh, stupid. Mean. Uh, no fair. That uh, mean man. Listen. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Oh my. You should keep that thing in a cage. 
You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry. We'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnifico, hmm? But he's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? B Bertram promise. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it. So you just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram likes sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram. Right. What are you sending? Someone wants your head pretty bad. Nice to see how forgiving the law is if you're rich. Thanks. Vale, nos subimos al caballito. ¿Qué más tenemos por aquí? Magnífico y esto está de camino, vale. Pues vayamos por el tal magnífico. It's amazing. If you say so. Are you, uh, ah! who? Are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. 
Well, he cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. Ah! Ah! Stay away from me. <sighs> hey, partner, come back. Magic out of this, partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy! Well, you led me on a merry old dance. Come on down now. Lady said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me! <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there! Ah. So long, ah, damn it. dummy! Great White Way. Really? You got enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? Ha 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 ha. Shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed your brother. So you are going to be pulling rabbits out of your ass until you are as old as you are tiny. Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. No. We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. 
And him? Let him have the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I uh, know, come to Mama. Oh, I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again! Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing Saint Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting a gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I done to deserve you too? Let's go, boy. Yeah. Okay, tengo caballos por todos lados. Vamos al profesor. Un segundito. Y una manzana. Big old gator just sitting in the road up ahead. I think we'll take our chances. Ha! Step down from there and drop your weapons. I'm taking this shipment. Oh, no, you ain't. You ain't getting nothing. Ah! Vale, ¿a dónde hay que ir? Vale, hasta San Denis. A ver, ¿alguna forma más rápida? Sí, directamente por aquí. Yep. 
Vale, este es el carro de licor, ok. It's for a very good cause. Uh, my name is Professor Andrew Bell III. Perhaps you've heard of me. <laughs> Can't say that I have. Oh, I'm an inventor. Uh, maybe you've read about me. Uh, I don't read much. Oh, oh well, that's too bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> you got my money? <clears throat> oh, well, it, it is the most wonderful invention, friend. Oh, you, sir, have done a great All deed. All I've done is get some creep a lot of drink. <laughs> Creepers. Excellent. No, nonsense. Now, you've helped me develop the most humane machine imaginable. A way to induce calmness to our most troubled souls. A way to end the barbarity of a public hanging. Oh, so, so humane. What are you talking about? The electric chair. Well, what? See, it's a chair full of electricity. It's quite fascinating. It calmly and peacefully dispatches the sinners uh, to face judgment. Yes, judgment. Yeah. Where is it? Well, uh, it's in my laboratory. The next thing I need is a, a demonstration, a public one. Huh. Uh, do you know the police chief? Hmm? As well as anyone. Oh, wonderful. Perhaps you can encourage him to let me demonstrate the chair. It will help bring this town into the next century. Yes, could you do that? Hmm? Yep. What's wrong with you? Oh my god mal asunto, ¿eh? Just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. <coughs> Mister, I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do you. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. 
Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Let me see your tongue. Say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. and Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, yeah, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today. Jolines. Ay, ay, ay. Sí, la vida. Qué duro momento, ¿eh? Qué duro, ¿eh? A ver qué nos espera, qué nos espera, no espera aquí, allá. Give up. He's lost. One morning, I just woke up and he wasn't there. Someone must have taken him. Maybe he just left. Gavin? No. No. We were best mates. We really best mates. He'd never leave me. Never. Gavin! Oh, 
I am so worried. Hey, friend. Police house. Get lost. Hey there, mister. Ain't interested. I can't possibly help you if you don't tell me what you need. Partner? Hello. What can I do for you? <clears throat> Chief, I'm representing the inventor of a humane execution machine. An electric chair. And he, uh... He wants to demonstrate his invention here. Ah, I'm familiar with the man and his work. Tell you what, I'll give you a permit. But it's gonna cost you $100 in fees. Hey, look, this will save you money in the long run. And, uh, it'll save the condemned a whole lot of pain. That remains to be seen. But... I'll give you a permit for 50. Okay. Well, the price is fair. Here you go. And here, sir, is your permit. Appending the usual formalities, of course, such as uh, finding a suitable candidate for humane dispatchment. I'll tell that to the professor. Good luck. You're concerned I am the devil. Now get out of here. With this cat, I said get out of here. This is an outrage. I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is poor, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. 
Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in... Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems... I don't know. Seems as... What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. So, we got Lenny's body out as well. Bribed the morgue and buried them together. Follow me. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. <sighs> she a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <sighs> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Uh. Now, pull on that rope uh. and hope for the best. You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> up, up, and away. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. Decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. All right, then. Let's break through these clouds. Oh, my God. Yes. 
heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this hunt. This particular vessel is state-of-the-art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the So long as it works. Okay, we're getting a little high now. We're too high, sir. The air isn't moving. Now this is good. Nice airflow here. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldessario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. interested in the pursuit of aviation? I uh, didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. Well, I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. Isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. Should we, uh, think about heading back? was not the tour I had in mind. Nope, not there. Wait, is that him? Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! 
What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! This is absolutely insane. We should stay at this altitude, heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Oh God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. We can get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job are not described to me at all sufficiently. Well. It's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Save! Get up there! Shit! Carol Driscoll's! Mrs. Adler has a lot of answer for. Yes, she does. Decidedly scrambled. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old Driscolls! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches!
Can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. Okay, boy. Yep. I know he's your husband, but it's gonna be... I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect your husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But, but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, why well, ain't the crime sore, but... I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you. Thank you both. All right. Here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. 
Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot and look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. Seems simple enough. Uh, how many times, Marston? Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out. Wait, shit! I don't think that was John. Well, let's go over there and see. Okay. Come on. I think what... Vale, no era John, creo. I guess. Who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. So, 
Are you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Come on, march him straight up to the front gate. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Drop the goddamn guns! Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in South Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, sir? very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, faster. 14, 15. Hurry up! Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Yo, take my pistol. Let's clear these and make a run for it.
boys seem to need rescue, Martin. Uh, nice to see you, Arthur. Ah, uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You... You're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tail soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told them. Ugh. Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in Sandin? Hey, is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to... when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real, somehow. All them years, Arthur, he was like... like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny, too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about the, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north. Near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you... Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. He said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. I guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> Yes, not. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? It's good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then? 
Arthur. Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur. It ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Uf. Qué duro, ¿eh? Ya nos estamos acercando al último capítulo de este maravilloso y bonito juego. Y también nos estamos acercando al fin de Arthur. Qué pena, ¿eh? Arthur. Arthur. Oh, sorry. I was miles away, thinking of, uh, I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth. Vale. Mr. Morgan. Señores y señoras, lo vamos a dejar por aquí.